Today I'm going to show you how to make this adorable braided headband. You can make this two-toned or all in one color as I show you here. You are going to need a headband that's about one inch wide and I'm going to make mine in two colors just to help you see it better. And I'm using a 3.75 millimeter hook, a yarn needle, and eight millimeter beads. And of course a hot glue gun, because we're gonna hot glue it to the headband. So begin by leaving yourself a length of tail. We're actually gonna use this for sewing purposes later. And we are going to chain five. Now I'm going to show you how to make a modified treble in the fifth stitch from your hook. I'm going to be referring to this as a joining treble, abbreviated JTR. So that's just yarn over three times and insert your hook into that fifth stitch from your hook. We're gonna yarn over and pull up just one loop. Now we're gonna yarn over and draw through just one loop again. And now you're gonna go through two four different times. So yarn over, go through two, yarn over, go through two, yarn over, go through two, and yarn over, go through the last two. And this just closes up your circle here, and this is going to equal a chain five. So we're just gonna continue doing this, it's really easy. So chain five, and make that joining treble in the top of the joining treble below. Now I'm gonna show you right here in this loop, and right here in this loop is where you're gonna join. So right through these two loops. So again, you're gonna yarn over three times, Insert your hook where I just showed you. Yarn over, pull up just one loop. Yarn over, draw through just one of the loops on your hook. And now you're gonna yarn over and go through two, four times. And so now we have two loops, just like that. You're gonna continue repeating this process until it measures 14 inches in length or until it measures what your headband measures. So again, you're gonna chain five and make that joining treble in the top of the last joining treble like I showed you before. Yarn over, pull up one loop. Yarn over, go through just one loop. Yarn over, go through two loops four times. So just continue repeating that until it measures 14 inches, or like I said, until it measures your headband. You don't want it to be longer than your headband, so if you are going to err on the side of shorter or longer, you want it to be a tad shorter because it will stretch. So here I am, I have a total of 12 chain loops, and I'm just gonna show you right here that it does indeed fit my headband just right. Now you don't want to stretch your piece too much because acrylic does stretch. Now we're gonna make some stitches around the entire piece. So we're gonna chain one and turn to work in the round. And we are gonna make seven single crochet in this first chain five. And now we're gonna to go to the next chain loop and make seven more single crochet. And of course, you are just going to continue making seven single crochet in each chain loop until you get to the last loop. And then when you get to the last loop, I'm gonna show you what to do. So continue doing that all the way to the last loop and I will meet you there. So here we are, this is what your piece should look like. We're at the very last loop here and we are gonna turn and work up the other side. So we are going to make 16 single crochet in this last chain loop. 
So my math for that is seven single crochet on each side and then two that makes the turn. So make a total of 16 single crochet in this last chain loop. And then we're turning to work up the other side of our piece. So this is what it should look like. And now we're just gonna keep trucking up this side here. You're gonna make seven single crochet in each chain five loop all the way till you get to the loop where we began. And when you get there, stop, because I'm going to give you a different number. So just continue on and I will meet you at the chain loop where we began. So here we are, we have got the majority of our strip done and we're going to have 16 single crochet in this last loop just like we did at the other end and since we started with seven singles you need to make nine singles on this last loop and then that will give us 16 singles on each end and now i'm going to instruct you to use the invisible slip stitch so take your working yarn to the back Remove your hook from your working yarn. Insert your hook from back to front in your first stitch of the round. Grab that working loop and pull it to the back. And then of course we're gonna fasten off, leaving ourselves a long tail for sewing purposes. And that is it, we are done with the first strip and we are going to make another one. Do not overstretch this piece. So now we're gonna add a strand with beads. Now this is completely optional, you don't have to add the beads, but I wanted to show you how to do it. So how many beads you add depends on how many chain loops you have. So count how many chain loops you have, and then subtract one. So I have 12 loops, so because I have 12 loops, I'm gonna subtract one. I need 11 beads. If you are doing it exactly like I am, add 11 beads. So now we are going to make it identical to the other strip. We are just going to add a bead as we go. So chain five just like we did on the other one. So we have five here, and now we're gonna add a bead. So what that means is just slide a bead down until it is against your hook. And you're gonna wanna do this really tightly. You don't wanna have it flopping around. Now we're gonna do our joining treble as if the bead wasn't even there. And I want you to notice that as I go, I'm pushing the bead forward. So chain five. Then you're gonna place another bead and push it real tightly against your hook. You wanna keep it firmly against your hook if possible. And now you're going to make your joining treble, same way as we did before. Even though there's a bead, it's the same two loops. And that's it. You're just going to continue on until you run out of beads. So that's chain five, place a bead tightly against your hook, and then make a joining treble in the top of the last joining treble. And you're gonna do that until you run out of beads and I will meet you there. So here I have run out of beads, so I'm going to do one more loop without the beads. So that's chain five, and then make your joining treble in the top of your last joining treble. And now we're gonna do it exactly like we did before. We're gonna chain one and work in the round. We're gonna make seven in this first one. And 
And as you work past those beads, make sure that you're pushing them all in the same direction. So you see I'm pushing it towards me, and then I'm gonna make that first single crochet kind of tight to try to hold it in place. And I'm just gonna make seven singles in each chain loop until I get to that last chain loop. Pushing the beads forward as I go and making that first single crochet of each chain loop kind of tightly to hold that bead in place. So this is what your piece should be looking like. We're at the last loop and just like the other one, we're gonna put 16 singles in this last loop, working our way around the loop so that we can start working up the other side. And now we're just going to continue making seven singles in each chain loop, pushing the bead forward and making that first single crochet tight so that it holds it in place. So just continue that till you get to the last chain loop and I will meet you there. So here we are at our last chain loop. We started with seven singles, so we need nine more to equal 16. So go ahead and make nine more single crochet in that last chain loop. And then of course, once you get all 16 in there, you're gonna make an invisible slip stitch just like before. And then fasten off, leaving yourself a long tail. So now that both of our strips are finished, this is what your beaded one should look like. We're gonna put it right side facing you. And then you're gonna grab the plain strip that we made first and place it on top of the beaded strand, also with the right side facing you. We're gonna take this plain one through the first beaded one, just to start with, from top to bottom. This is the only one that we'll be placing in a loop from top to bottom. Now we're gonna grab the beaded end and take it through the second loop. Pull it all the way through. And it's kind of fiddly at first. You're gonna have some strands to work with and you wanna make sure that your beads are facing out. So now your beaded strip should be facing you and the plain one should be on bottom. So now we're going to take the plain end through the next hole on the beaded strand right here. So go ahead and grab the end of the plain one and take it through the next chain loop. And that will put the beaded strand back on the bottom and the plain strand back on the top. You're just gonna continue this process all the way to the end. So we're taking each end through the next chain loop. And this just sort of interlocks the pieces together and makes it look like a braid. So just continue doing that all the way down. I'm going to speed up the video just a little bit, but I wanted you to see it all the way through because it is a little bit difficult to understand.
So this is what your piece should look like. You should have an empty loop or an open loop on each end in each color. We're going to sew those shut so that it will look more like a headband. So the long strip that's, that we left ourselves at the beginning, we're going to use that tail to mattress stitch this loop closed. So just watch me carefully. I'm going to use the mattress stitch and I'm going underneath the vertical post of the single crochet. So I have the wrong side facing me and under each stitch I'm going underneath the vertical bars and just going from top to bottom back and forth using the mattress stitch all the way down until I can pull it tightly and cinch it closed. So now that I have that last loop closed just like that, I'm going to tack down this other one to the underside here just to kind of keep it in place. So I'm just going to tack down this last loop through the back side, and I'm going to take both of these tails here and just tie them together in a knot because this is going to be the side that we glue to the headband, so it doesn't have to be perfect. I just didn't want it to move. Now you could weave these tails in if you wanted to, but I'm not going to because I'm just gonna hot glue them down right here to the strip. So I'm just gonna cut them short and hot glue them down whenever I glue this piece to the headband. Of course, now we're just going to repeat the process to the other side, only this time it will be the other color. So I'm going to mattress stitch this loop shut. And once you have that shut, you are going to want to grab the other loop. Take this tail here down through to the bottom so that you can tie the ends together and also tack down this last loop so it doesn't move around. So now I'm just going to tie these ends together and cut them short because I plan to hot glue them to the piece. We're almost done. We're going to hot glue our piece to the headband. But first you want to hot glue these ends down since we didn't weave them in. And I highly recommend that you hot glue down the ends first. So as you see me doing here, I'm hot gluing one end and then I'm going to stretch it however I need to so that it fits perfectly to the other side. So now I will hot glue this end over here. And once you get both ends completely glued down, you're going to go under the edges here and hot glue the strip to the headband itself. I'm not using a lot of hot glue here because the braided area does have some gaps or some holes, if you will, so the hot glue can come through. If you use too much hot glue, it's going to come through the top and you really don't want that. But once you do that, you are done. I hope that you enjoyed this tutorial today. If you did, please give it a thumbs up. And if you haven't already, don't forget to subscribe to my YouTube channel. Thank you so much for watching.